Hey everybody, it's Alan. We've got a jam-packed video. Let's talk about Tesla skyrocketing up 21%. Does that even make sense? Let's talk about BlackRock calling a $200,000 Bitcoin. I mean, you're talking about a $20,000 plus dollar Ethereum at that point. That's pretty incredible. Uh, Tesla, yep, oh, it's heading to 21%. Let's talk about why the Dow sank down. Remember, we called it this uh, October 8th recession. And again, remember that data is from like the last 20 to 30 years that I put into a visual basic program I single-handedly created. It's not going to be accurate to the day, so it's going to be off by a few weeks. But again, did we start this about a week ago when everything started sinking down? Could be. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Let's talk about who is favored to win the election and why it's impacting the stock and crypto market so much. Again, we'll also go through the fact that Donald Trump is pretty much winning over the past seven days and continuing to win on basically all fronts. Let's talk about the crypto bulls and during the second biggest like liquidation in October and why Google is a stock. I'm really going to put in, put in some money. There's a couple other really key points to go through. But again, as you can see, Ethereum is hovering around 25.24. We did sell out around 26.30 to 26.40 and we called it if we can stay above 26.50, we're going to put in the 10% and then from there put another 10% in every single time it moves by $50. The reason I did that, the oscillators, the moving averages, the big institutions, the big whales, right? All the money that's supposed to be flowing into all those inflows into the Ethereum ETF, poof, non-existent. That's why I took a kind of cautionary stance and i still stand by it those of you that need to know when i'm buying what i'm selling what i'm doing with my portfolio if you want to join that one thousand dollar starter portfolio or the 10k to 100k you can do that with my patreon the link is down below in the description we have about five spots available and then we are closed up for the year and i believe we only have like one or two more spots available for those of you that want to become part owners and investors of our crypto exchange we'll talk about that in a little bit as well Again, this is our webpage, coinagefort.com. There's going to be a iPhone, iPad, and Android apps coming out as well. Lots of legal matters to get through over the next few months before we can get this going. This button is still not live. This is going to be for larger investors, $1,000 or more. If you really just want to kind of get into it, uh, just go to coinswallstreet.com on YouTube. And then you can click on this link or just go to patreon.com forward slash coinswallstreet. And then you'll be able to sign up for that last one or two spots to become a part owner. Now, again, talking about Dow sinking, keep in mind, I do believe everything is misproportionate. The entire S&P 500 has been held up and has skyrocketed over 20% this year on single-handedly seven stocks, the Magnificent Seven. Aside from there, if you delete them and you take a look in the S&P 500 without them in there, you will see that the S&P 500 is actually down year to date. So with that in mind, I do believe we probably will be hitting a recession in some of these companies and some of these other ones that have just kind of skyrocketed. Remember, the problem is if you price in 2024, 2025, and 2026 into a stock, then there's no growth in it for the next two or three years. And then that money is going to just go somewhere else. This is how you get a massive, massive sell-off, which I think is going to come fairly quickly. Again, Trump is winning about 52 times out of 100, which is, I mean, this is a huge difference. Four, okay, out of every 100 people, this is a pretty, pretty huge difference. And again, if we take a look over the last seven days, uh, he's up seven where uh, Harris is down seven. I think what you initially get when it comes to elections, and this is going to impact your stock portfolio and your crypto portfolio. That's why I just want to cover it very quickly. But, um, Typically, if you see all the spending and everything that the Democrats do, they destroy people's portfolios. Remember, they're about taking everything you own, the whole 40, 50 percent of your taxes and, and then just giving them out and destroying the economy. And, and again, I never really knew this for most of my life. I was a Democrat until like I finally started making some really good money. And then I realized, oh, man, it's it's all being taken away. So just kind of want you to understand I really never invested a lot you know how do you reach a million dollars in about five six years you invest like a hundred to five hundred dollars a paycheck a hundred to five hundred whatever you can some some maybe some you know weeks it's a hundred some weeks it's 200 maybe once or twice a year it's 500 
but you consistently do that and across five years you're just growing so quickly and, and the thing is it sounds like a lot of money but just let me show you something here you know if you, even if you invested into the S&P 500 and didn't even manage your own portfolio and the S&P 500 went up by 23 percent you know you'd be up twenty three thousand dollars very quickly with you know within one year and then that very next year if it did the same you're now made another fifty one thousand dollars so by that third year you would be up pretty much almost two hundred thousand dollars you almost doubled your money that quickly now the thing is we've had stocks that have gone up five six hundred percent not twenty three percent so if you're actively managing a portfolio you can really see some massive growth and money really truly does make money so it kind of compounds so the more you have in your portfolio like reaching one thousand dollars is extremely hard but then going to two thousand dollars for one thousand dollars is not that hard at all and then going from two thousand to ten thousand dollars just happens really quickly because now you're in that mindset oh man i want to get to that 10k portfolio and then once you get to 10k you're like oh i got a five figure portfolio and then from there, you know, you have one or two good years and you can go from 10K to 100K and now you really got a massive, massive, incredible portfolio. It's very, very cool. Now, again, crypto bulls are enduring the second biggest liquidation day in October. So we had some sell off. They will be actually buying opportunities. So watch out for that. I will be sending out buy and sell alerts as long as you're my Patreon. Use the link down below or just type in www.patreon.com and then type in there, invest with Alan. You'll be able to sign up. Again, BlackRock and MicroStrategy are seeing sending about a $200,000 Bitcoin. And, and I do believe you're going to see, I mean, this is nothing. I think we're definitely going above like four or $500,000. I don't think it's going to happen like tomorrow or the next year or two, but over the next five to 10 years, you're going to see a half a million dollar Bitcoin. So I'm still very bullish on it. And again, once I see a little bit of positivity, a zone of accumulation, funds starting to put money into Ethereum or Bitcoin, then I am absolutely all into getting into BTC again. So again, let's talk about Tesla very, very quickly before we end this video. I thought the earnings report was a disaster and they didn't do very well at all. Sure, their margins went up slightly, but next year they're going to be, you know, he was talking about, you know, the Tesla cab, which I think is a joke, something five to 10 years out down the line. And, um, you know, I owned the Tesla for about 10 plus years. You know, I, I took hold of my, I ordered my test line 2012, took a hold of it about January or February, something like that of 2013. It was, it was the junkiest Tesla that money could buy because I just had no money. So I paid um, 55 and then after all the tax and incentives, right? And the electric vehicle rebates cost me about $45,000. It was the 40 kilowatt battery pack, which they only made a few thousand of them. And I was one of the fools that had the lowest battery possible and one of the things i learned from owning a tesla because i eventually ended up upgrading in 2016 to the self-driving that never came from 2012 to 2016 and from 2016 to like 2021 when i sold it and actually made money on it which will never happen in history again um was that those are all empty promises the self-driving can't really be trusted it's not good at all and again, you have to keep your hand on the steering wheel. If you let go or you move your eyes somewhere and you lose attention, it refocuses and disables the whole thing. It's just not real to me. If I have to, you know, continuously hold down with the firm grip on my steering wheel, if I have to continuously pay attention, you know, and I don't pay attention and I, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be controlled like that. If there's cameras all around the car monitoring me, monitoring the outside and, and, it's just too much invasion of my privacy. The self-driving is not ready for any of the cars. So RoboCabs was certainly not at all. So again, these are like pipe dreams that will absolutely happen because I do believe in Elon Musk. It will happen 10 years down the line. So I'm not buying a stock shooting up 20% on his pipes and dreams. And that margin going up doesn't mean anything to me at all. So again, you know, if you take a look year to date, You'd be up 3%. Even with the 21% upside today, this thing has made nobody any money. And if you go back five years and you talk about, let's just talk about right here. You know, you start off somewhere December of 2020 to today, you would still be down 12%. The only way you could have ever made money is somehow you bought it over here in 2019 when it was on the verge of bankruptcy. So 
please be careful. Again, I don't think EVs are the way to go in terms of investing, at least for all of 2024. You can buy a $139,000 Tesla Model S Played Edition. So $140,000, about $162,000 with tax for $50,000 on cars.com or, or pretty much any website. Now used, you can get them from Copart for like $40,000. So the market is oversaturated. There's like 3 million of them hitting the markets every single year. And there's just more and more options for you to buy them from, from dealerships, from auctions, from repossessions, from Tesla, you know, used website. And when that happens, then the price really just kind of gets driven down. So right now, if you think there's great deals on Tesla's and electric vehicles, wait till next year comes. I mean, these things are going to be down seriously, like 85%. Right now, the Model S plate is down 67%. Now, that's a smoking deal if you ever wanted one. But again, I... Uh, I went through too many trials and tribulations and horror stories. Can I make a separate video on my ownership of a Tesla Model S from 2013 to 2020? And uh, you should not get an electric vehicle. That is my opinion. You should not get a hybrid vehicle at all either. Just get a regular gas engine vehicle that can last and last and last and can be literally fixed by anybody. And get something that's like 2019 or older. Don't get anything up from 2019. Now, again, Google is the only stock I'll be purchasing over the next week or so unless something changes and there's a massive crash. But again, I think this is a $257 stock, and I'm going all in on Google over the next probably entire three months. Again, thank you for watching. Smash the like button on this video. If you hate this video, smash that dislike button twice. And, and again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.